<laughs> what is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a brand new Sims 4 mod review. Today we're going to be checking out the Soap Making Station by Isa Mun Mun. This was released July 17th of 2022, which if I'm being honest is kind of a bad day for me because it's the same day that I logged myself out of my YouTube channel. This mod, you guys, seriously is just hands down one of my absolute favorites. It's very simple in concept, but also very intricate in the way that it works so if you're like me and you love to get down and dirty and have your sims create and craft things and even use these uh i guess craftables as an extra source or main source of income this is definitely going to be a mod for you and you're gonna have a lot of fun playing around with it as you guys can see there is just so much detail that went into this mod and uh even the mod notes are honestly quite extensive but i did take it upon myself to go ahead and kind of play around with this mod um get acquainted so that i can just kind of go through these mod notes in real time through gameplay but if you do have any questions or maybe i didn't cover something in depth or as in depth as you'd like i'll make sure to leave these mod notes in the description or on my website for you guys to check out later on to get started on your soap making Ooh, adventure the very first thing that you're going to need is the soap making station so i'm gonna hop into build by and all i need to do is just type in soap into the search bar i do have the organized build by mod by twisted mexi this definitely makes things a little bit easier but i'm pretty confident if you just type in um soap it should be the first thing or one of the first few things that pops up and as you can see a little sneak peek preview here here's just like a little glimpse of all the different soaps that you can make but the soap making station itself is about a thousand simoleons a steep investment that does indeed turn quite a nice little profit so I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. Uh, we have all of the different um, crafts. We got gloves, a knife, and then a bunch of like little burners and a measuring cup. There are a few different swatches, but in my personal opinion, the best swatch for this is probably just the brown swatch. I think it looks the best. When you first get into soap making, your sim is definitely in their beginner stages. So there isn't going to be very many things that you can create. You might get the option to create a certain item, uh, but the many you will be blank now I do have my sim currently at a level 10 in the soap making skill so you're gonna see more options available to her than you would see at first but getting started is super duper easy all you need to do is just purchase some soap making supplies now there's going to be a lot to choose from and you're probably wondering okay Jen I don't have a lot of money to like get this startup started what do I need so you're only going to need to purchase some shea butter and each each packet of shea butter is $20 and each soap creation requires one packet or one I guess yeah we'll just call it a packet or one block or whatever so they're about $20 each which seems relatively expensive because initially it is but every soap that you will create is worth about 44 simoleons so that's a $20 profit I'm gonna go ahead and purchase about five of these right now just to get started and then the first item that you'll be able to make are the melt and pour soaps and then again as you go through the different skills you'll unlock different Different items and uh, you'll be able to do so many more cool things but first we're just gonna show you guys or we <laughs> I'm gonna show you the process so again I do have a level 10 in the soap making skill not so flex or anything um, so I have a few more options but initially you'll be able just to make like some just basic bar soap so you might notice over here the ingredients panel um, I opted to use a fresh ingredients you don't necessarily have to um, but but I opted to and with that you also can integrate existing um, packs into the soap making skill or hobby so you can have bees to harvest honey or you can plant basil and roses to add in those you know um, extracts to add in extra you know scents and whatnot and just a whole bunch of other things so again it's very intricate but I am going to create a ooh, let's just do a plain cool mint bar but something else to note: if you don't actually have that extra ingredient you can still make the soap you'll have to purchase that ingredient but I think if you have it it'll actually cut down the cost to nothing so just something um, to keep in mind there but let's make that soap so you guys can see how it is done so she 
she whips out this little uh, she whips out this little pot and she's putting in her ingredients you might get a prompt that your sim loves cooking because for some reason in the game this just recognizes it as like cooking but the skill is definitely for soap making so my sim has her brand new bar of soap here and for whatever reason she likes to put it on this like little coffee table thing even though I've given her like this nice little um like drawer to set it on and here we go so this is what the little soap looks like super basic very cute this one is actually worth a hundred dollars and I don't know if that's because of my skill being so high or what the situation is but I even got a little moodlet here that says made soap by the melt and pour method an easy and fast way to make new and interesting soaps by this point your sim should at least be level one in the soap making skill you're not gonna have all the options that you see here but you will be able to set the soap for use which means you'll be able to to give your sim a scrub a dub dub in the shower or bathtub <laughs> i'll show you guys how to do that in just a quick little second here but you can also list it on plopsy as well and put it in your inventory just to make life a little less confusing i am gonna go through the different skill levels and tell you guys what you can unlock with each skill basically when you acquire the soap making skill you're able to just make your melt and pores right and then at level two you can start making your glycerin soap so this this is what the glycerin soap is you won't have all of these options but you definitely will have quite a few and I'm pretty sure you guys know what glycerin soap is it's basically like the clear soap I love glycerin soap it's so much fun and at level three you can combine many different ingredients to make more complex melt and pour soaps and glycerin soaps level four you can craft hot press soaps I'll show you guys what those look like right here um, basically you can make like vanilla uh, cinnamon soap Soap. you can make um, I think even this like oatmeal honey soap which is kind of cool too so you'll also notice that at this point you'll need a different type of ingredient I believe the same thing goes for the glycerin too as well I didn't cover that but I'm sure you guys just saw it so then at level five you can now start selling your soaps to a local spa for a profit so originally $100 value. Now you get an extra 20 simoleons, which is pretty exciting. Level six, you can make cold process, which is these soaps here. They're a lot more, how do you say, like lush, <laughs> like literally like the store lush. So we have like strawberry cream, peach apple, coconut herbal, aloe vera, um, rose clay, cotton candy. Ugh, the list goes on and you can gift these items too. So I think this is kind of cute too. Just a little side note. Level seven, you can combine more interesting interesting ingredients and make different flavored soaps. So at level eight, it says you can purchase a business license and set up a homemade soap making business. See, but here's the thing at level eight, this doesn't unlock in the notes. It says level 10. So I would disregard that because it doesn't actually allow you to purchase the license, which is 5,000 simoleons, by the way, until you officially reach level 10. At level nine, you can make ombre soaps. And at level 10, you have officially mastered the soap making skill and you can make Make boxes and hampers of different soaps which is seriously the cutest little thing so you can make these bad boys here which is basically a assorted uh, soap gift box these sell for such a steep price like 700 freaking simoleons and each soap within it is actually usable so you can open it you can um, you know give it as a gift you can uh, sell it in your store if you have get to work you can create your own soap shop or you can just run an at-home business and uh yeah so to purchase that license all you would have to do is just buy a handcraft a handcrafted soap business license i'm gonna go ahead and do that now just so that we have it officially i actually really don't know what the benefit of that is but i mean more simoleons the better right so i'm gonna show you guys how you can use your soaps oh the first thing that you need to do is you may need to make sure that your soap is set for use i do actually have like a bunch of soaps that i've created here um so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what those are so here's like the lemon and a poppy seed soap 
that's what that looks like super duper cute and then we have the honey oatmeal um, soap which I showed you guys a little bit later and if you have if you have bees you're able to actually use your own honey so that's kind of cool definitely cuts down on costs then we have ourselves the let me show you a glycerin soap so here's a cucumber soap it's supposed to be transparent in real life but it's not in game which kind of sucks I do wish it was transparent I love transparent things but you know what not a big deal and then we have like a little red um, gemstone soap that looks really cool too I love that and a charcoal soap which is cool too i do wish there was like little descriptions telling you like the benefits and stuff but i mean not the biggest of deals by any means and then we have our strawberry uh cream soap and this is just a small little nugget of all the different soaps that you can create but in order for you to actually be able to use this soap in the tub or shower you just gotta hit set soap for use and then from what i read which i find kind of weird you need to make sure that you have these little uh where are they i might actually need to purchase it um right here a lie packet i don't know why you would need this to use your soap but that's what i read so i could be wrong um and it doesn't really matter anyway but i just wanted to throw that out there so i'm gonna have my sim take a nice little bubble bath i do think it would be really cool in the future if Iceman Mun expanded on this and she tossed in like uh, body washes and bath bombs and things like that like if you're like me and you love going to Lush this is so right up your alley and I think it's a really fun way to play around with different types of sims you know maybe you've got a sim um that's really into like you know uh health and wellness and prefers things to be organic and handmade and this could just kind of fit into that narrative so make sure that when your sim is in the shower i think i might have accidentally screwed something up here so let's just set the soap for use uh, hold on okay i'm actually going to try this again because i think i might have messed it up okay so you will get a notification notification when your soap is ready for use and then when your sim <laughs> is taking a bath maybe it doesn't work with bubble bath and maybe that's the problem um you can officially use the soap so not a big deal but whenever your sim uses the soap just depending on which one you use they're gonna get a moodlet you could say anything but mine says wholesome this plain handmade soap gives off a wholesome aroma mild and softly cleansed soap makes the skin soft and clean i kind of want to play around with some more soap making i think i want to maybe make a soap by cold process so hmm what one should i make we can do watermelon matcha there's also like a pumpkin swirl alpine swirl rose quartz these ones are the ombre um soaps i think i want to make like a, a pumpkin a pumpkin swirl soap because it's almost it's almost fall here in the states and i am so looking forward to it oh my god i'm so excited i can't even speak i'm so excited you'll notice that the animations for each type of soap are pretty much the same it's not the biggest of deals Ew. but this is what it looks like to make a pumpkin swirl i really do wish that freaking lila wouldn't put the damn soap here ever Every single time these soaps are seriously massive though like they are really really big uh, but that's what it looks like I mean the detail on these is absolutely incredible I love the way that they look they're so pretty um, but I think I want to go ahead and uh, oh so now that you have your business license or once you have your business license you'll be able to actually package the soap and sell it so that's the key difference just letting you know um, so you don't actually have to have like get to work or anything but if you wanted to take this one step further and make it like an official home business or you know a home business where you own a shop or something like maybe this is how you start out you know you could do like <laughs> suds to suds to riches or something I don't know uh, this is just a great way to kind of like you know maybe get started and then you can you know move up in the corporate world so I think what I want to do is I want to show you guys what it's like to sell a spa or sell a soap to the spa so I'm gonna do that and basically I made like 522 simoleons I got a happy buff it doesn't really say anything it just says from selling to spa day corp and then um, I wanted to also maybe peep what it's like you know what maybe we should just make another soap let's do oh I didn't show you guys the soap gift hampers 
Okay, let's do that. Uh, we're gonna make the, hmm, let's do like a luxury bath gift box. This one looks pretty cool. Although, if I'm talking about like a price and stuff, uh, this is definitely going to, to fit that. Um, but it's a lot more expensive if you don't have the ingredients. You definitely wanna purchase those. You don't have to. Earlier I said you had to, because I thought you did. Uh, but you actually, you don't, you don't have to at all, which is really cool. So she's gonna make her little soap box. I'm so excited excited I kind of want to like give this one to somebody maybe I'll um, duplicate it but like isn't this the sweetest thing ever I think this is so cute and this one's perfect because this could be for like love day or something like that and as I said earlier if you open it you can actually use each individual soap um, and you'll get different buffs and moodlets and things this is worth 1,000 freaking dollars oh my gosh that's so crazy should we create a copy I think we're gonna create a copy I kind of want to show you what happens when you open these so I'm gonna have a Lila go ahead and open this one and there you go each individual item is now in your inventory so peach apple soap we have an orange sunrise and then we also have like the um, rose clay soap which is super cool if you sell these individually they're actually a lot more profitable but I'm gonna put this one back up here and then I think I'm gonna do the package soap and sell i am curious to see how it would look oh my gosh i made fourteen hundred dollars never mind maybe it isn't more more lucrative to, to sell them individually but you can't do that i was curious to see what it would look like to place one of these on plopsy so we're gonna have uh, lila list the i think this is the orange sunrise soap and then i was even thinking of maybe inviting summer over and gifting her one of these just for issues and giggles you know maybe lila is just trying to get her business off the ground and the best Where's way to gain a little Don't notoriety is to start off with friends and family. Hopefully yeah, Summer doesn't so take offense to me giving her soap as a gift. She's probably thinking, what bitch do I think? Like, um, are you trying to tell me something? Uh, no, not really, actually. I just want you to try my new, my new soap. So let's just give a friendly gift and we could even gift ingredients, but I think I wanna give her the lemon poppy seed soap and see what she says. And remember, you can also gift the soap trays too. You don't necessarily have to give them the individual soap. She seems to really appreciate the handcrafted gift that we have given her. I'm glad that she likes it and I don't know if there's anything else to really share with you. Maybe I could show you guys the other different types of soaps that you can unlock. So as you go down you'll see different things for like melt and pour, like duck soap, lemon slices uh, there's also like little uh, red starfish soap so great for kids too I'm not sure if kids can actually use the soaps but I'm pretty positive they can so hot press basically like the you know different types of novelty soaps and then I think the same thing kind of falls uh, into place with even the cold press which I showed you guys a little bit earlier and then I think hot press did we already we just did that didn't we okay glycerin here's glycerin so like honey apricot minty herb um spring at floral glycerin see i'm a little confused because that one gift box had like a like had like a heart you know and then it, it wasn't the heart soap anyways you guys that's my take on the soap making station by ice mun mun i think that this is such an incredible fun little addition to the sims again there's so many different things that you can do with this and i love how if you have like different expansions like uh cottage living and you know whatever other packs require the uh like seasons for instance i think that actually came with the beekeeping station right i'm not sure but if you have like different expansions and things you can actually tie in those uh packs you can then source these ingredients off your own land so that way it kind of brings down the cost and it feels like you're actually making them um organically from home and then if you have get to work you're able to then uh, you know have your own little shop and and things like that so there's really a lot that you could do here again you can list your item on plopsy and Unfortunately, nobody wants to buy my super duper expensive soap, but that's just like another way that you can play around
around with this mod. Honestly, your options are truly endless, and I'm super curious to know what you guys think about the soap making station or the soap making mod by Ice Mun Mun. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you guys would like to pick this up, I will provide a link in the description. And to my knowledge, I think the only thing you need is outdoor retreat. Other than that, you should be good to go. Obviously, if you want to unlock different capabilities um, by sourcing off the land or having your own soap making a business outside of your home, uh, you'll need get to work and things like that. But anyways, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.